Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim, Sr. Well, here we go again with several things going on. First off, after eating uh, some breakfast it's about oh, 10 o'clock, 10, 10.30, somewhere around there, I got to eat my breakfast. I got hang on a second. Take uh, <clears throat> um, something out of the oven. Well, no, it's, uh, this will be done here in a little bit. I got uh, eating spaghetti. I got spaghetti in the microwave. And I uh, got uh, garlic bread in the oven. Spaghetti is a little on the warm side. I had it in for four minutes. And the bread will be done here. I had it in for ten minutes. Fixing Renee something to eat on the griddle. I like lots of cheese on my, this uh, spaghetti parmesan cheese on my spaghetti. And some people would say, "Do you want uh, spaghetti with that cheese?" I wanted to show you uh, some things here. First off, my sugar. When I got back, my sugar. As soon as I get the bread, the the uh, bread out of the oven, move, pretty girl. Cat, she likes to be right in the road. While I'm doing things, all righty. Got that done. Right now I'm eating uh, another peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Get my sugar to come back up again. Because when I got back from, uh, well, uptown a little bit and seen Renee's doctor. Because they're supposed to be referring her to uh, another doctor. They keep saying they faxed the referral, but the other doctor is saying they haven't received the fax. <sighs> Technology. You know, they say they sent it, and the other doctor said they didn't get it. <sighs> and, you know, it helps, and, and then it really doesn't help at times. There, you know, things goes wrong. Like uh, even with uh, my uh, sugar, let me get it here. At this morning, it was uh, at eleven fifty. It was one fifty nine. And then I took took it just a little bigger when I got back home at uh, 2.42, it was down to 71. But my doctor, he sent me a message that basically he hasn't, he didn't up it, he didn't go down on my dosage. He just says, basically monitor and let him know in one or two weeks. Well, I'm having troubles keeping my sugar in check because I should be eating more than what I'm eating right now, but I don't have enough food to eat a lot like I'm supposed to. 
And then there's people on my YouTube videos that says, well, don't bring Donald Trump because uh, uh, he didn't mean what you think he meant. And then there's, uh... People are saying, I need to go to a gym and work out. If I did that, my sugar would be constantly low. Because it's called reactive hypoglycemia that I have. And diabetes. Reactive reacts to stress. Then there's people that's been saying some things on Facebook that need to learn to keep their derriere, their, their, excuse me, their trap shut, especially when they don't know what they're talking about. Or actually what they're trying to do is they're constantly trying to run something in the ground that they don't have no business running in the ground in the first place. I... requested some information to make sure what this person was saying is true or not on Facebook. A, uh, this this um, preacher of this church called uh, Universal One Church has been saying some things bad about the Universal Life Church. They're saying that in Pennsylvania that a... Uh, well, they're saying several different things first off. They're saying that uh, the Universal Life Church is being taken back to court again by the IRS. They're also saying, uh, and of course I, I commented, and said, here's what they, they won in federal court two times already. And then this person saying... Uh, These are several famous quotes of Kirby Hensley. Jesus was a good actor. See, this person basically does not know what they're talking about. Because it is not the Universal Life Church that they should be talking about in the first place. There is another organization called, let me look it up here real quick. Uh, excuse me. And if you go in here, there is another one called Universal Life Church Monastery. The Monastery. The Universal Life Church Monastery actually is not a real church. It's not a church. It's a monastery. And according to the email that I received from the actual Universal Life Church headquarters in uh, Modesto, California. It says Michael J. Curley is not affiliated with our church. Back in 2007... A minister of the monastery in Seattle, Washington, was ruled that a marriage was invalid because the monastery was not a legal church 
in Pennsylvania. That is what Curley refers to. In 2008, the ACLU took three cases to the PA court to clarify whether ministers of our church are valid. We won all three cases. I have attached a copy of one of these cases for your use. So, not sure where it is. Probably down here, yeah, on the bottom. So now all I have to do is go into uh, documents, under downloads. And right there it is. Right there, it says right here that the Universal Life Church hereafter you all see or church the couple chose Robert A. Norman Jason O'Neill uncle and Universal Life Church to officiate with the aid of Mr. Norman the couple's planned wedding ceremony it goes on says your ULC is a non-denominational interface ministry with millions of members worldwide. The key, you know, talks about the key teachings and, but uh, if you, let's see, I think up here was the uh, judge's uh, ruling. Right here, see the decree, right here's the decree. Upon consideration for judgment to confirm the validity of marriage pursuant and Mandarin law in support thereof and after oral arguments before this court It is how ordered and decreed that the motion is granted. Yeah, someone's chimney's on fire. This court does hereby declare that a valid marriage exists between Jason B. O'Neill and Jennifer R. O'Neill. That is the court, the actual court document right there. Their marriage is real. So, say some more lies and see what happens. I got all the proof, all the proof, all the proof. You're a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Maybe your chimney should uh, uh, catch on fire. Tire liars. You know. Lying doesn't get you anywhere. Just, just uh, get you found out. <sighs> Lord have mercy. All these liars on Facebook that think they know everything when they don't know nothing when it comes right down to it. It is a monastery that is not an actual church. The Universal Life Church is a real church. But this person wants to keep uh, saying all this stuff. 
uh, from the Universal One Church, which they say they're not affiliated with the Universal Life Church, but yet they want to constantly put down the Universal Life Church. And then they kind of gripe at me because I'm not Catholic. See, here's uh, some of the things that they're saying on their site here. About the, um, a minister guilty of uh, post. Procession. Here's one here. They're saying appeal court to Universal Life Church minister. We will call you, we will not call you reverend. But knock you down your pill pending sentence. And, uh, da they're saying Dallas says strip club claims to be a universal life church. Oh, well, gosh, oh my. Uh, wedding's not valid in New York. Well, let me show you something. All right, let me show you something else here real quick. I go to uh, my uh, go back here to um, Ohio Secretary License, Minister License, search like uh, putting my name here. In this, uh, and post this is my this is um, my uh, information that will show up, and it says right here Universal Life Church. Active. United Christian Ministries International. Active. Which means that my ordinations are real and binding as far as the, Un the Ohio State Secretary of State is concerned. And also the law in Ohio. And let me tell you, they cannot, no state cannot say a church is not a church. Otherwise, that goes totally against the Constitution of the United States of America, where a state is saying, well, you can't be a church because you're not Catholic, or you're not Protestant, or you're not uh, Assemblies of God, you're not Baptist, you're not uh, whatever. If you're not one of those, then you're not a church. No state has a jurisdictional venue to say that. <clears throat> IRS, when it comes right down to it, is something totally different. Look what, ha look what the IRS has been doing to other charitable organizations in the past, and especially with uh, the... Um, Oh, what's that uh, organization that uh, tried to get the uh, tax exempt status and couldn't? Oh, my brain's drawing a blank here. Anyhow, long story short, all these conservative organizations try to get tax exempt status. And couldn't, because the IRS considered well, basically try to you know do a lot of bad things against them, more or less. 
That's the IRS. Nowhere, 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 nowhere can the, uh, any state or the federal government say a church cannot be a church just because they don't agree with someone's philosophy or theology about something. Listen, I gotta get off here. I gotta eat. Get some more of this peanut butter and jelly in me. And get my sugar back up. Eat my uh, spaghetti and garlic bread and, and things fixing Renee's uh, <laughs> late breakfast, early supper. God bless you. Have a blessed day. And remember, Jesus is Lord. He is the only way, the truth, and the life. No church can save you. Not even Mary can save you. Only Jesus Christ. Have a blessed day.